Wait one second, making sure I'm recording and I should be recording now. Okay, hello and welcome back to Random Days Random Games. In today's episode, we're playing Coromon. It's been a little while since we last played. So, last episode, we arrived at. Let me just pull up the map for you. We arrived at Velama. Is it Velama? Yeah, Velama. And one of the mines that we need to go into were uh, closed off due to an earthquake that closed it off a big boulder and we need to go talk to this guy at a dojo to break the boulder and I feel like this is the route that we need to go in and there's got to be some bad bad stuff up here and uh, let's see but that's what we need to do and we also turned into a cat girl on the way there was this uh, cat girl somewhere down this way who had a per pierogi? is it pierogi? pierogi? Species, pierogi, yeah. A pierogi, and it was supposed to be the best pierogi, it was not the best pierogi, my pierogi was better. And we defeated that uh, enemy, and we also found his ears in a box, so I became a cat girl. Uh, let's see, let me talk to you, who are you? Light Sensei says, says that training is all about finding balance. So that means if I do, if I'm doing chores now, someday I'll be the sensei, and others will do my chores. <laughs> uh. Wait, wait, wait! I'll scan this place for any. There's valuables in here. Skilled flash. Combi cake. I tell you, this scan thing really does help. Nothing in the uh, boxes up there. Okay, let's see. Oh, what is this? Face electric. Face moon. Yeah, basically, there's all the typings here. We train here not for the sake of beating up our enemies, but for a light enlightenment. Bruhilda. Brunhilde. However, sometimes I just need to vent and then I feel like enlightening these dummies with my fist. Yes, another chest down here. Attack cake, large, that's pretty good. I don't think... I did... I didn't even expect to find that uh, thing there. That skill flash. Okay. Before I talk to you, I'm going to save. I'm also a bit uh, wounded. We also got Wompy a few episodes ago. I do quite enjoy Wompy. They're basically better than our uh, Dio, who's a frog looking Pokemon. Well, not Pokemon, Coromon. Sorry. They sound the same, and I always mess them up. Hello, Light Sensei. My name is Tinkerberry. I've come to request your aid. Light Sensei? Light Sensei is in deep meditation. Please do not disturb him. Oh, sorry, I didn't know. Oh, it seems a guest has ent entered our Miss Greetings. Yes, Light Sensei, I'm Tinkerberry. I need your help. And what could I, old man, for such a young person? The entrance to Mount Musupil was completely blocked by a ro rock slide. The townspeople are requesting your help. Would you be able to break the boulder that's blocking the mine? The strong will forgive. The intelligent will ignore. Thus I have already done both. But as much as I worldly desire flare, I'm afraid I cannot help you. Do you see this bonsai tree? I have a bonsai tree. Tinkerberry, it took years for this bonsai tree to grow large and sturdy. Yet even after its long struggle to grow and thrive, one day it will still wither. 
For me, that has that day has already arrived. I can no longer perform the stonebreaker technique, as was my calling. Is there any one else that could break the boulder? Hmm, my students have not been brought up for the task. On one of my strolls through the forest, I found a sapling. It had delicate branches, but it seemed to have a solid, sturdy base. I gave it a chance, and from beneath its bewildered appearance rose a beautiful bonsai. Perhaps your bark is similar to that sapling. If I could pass on the stone breaker to a worthy individual before I get too old, my heart would be at peace. And then you could smash the boulder yourself. However, it is not so simple as that. Since you haven't trained in my dojo before, you must realize this training will demand your mind and body to be at its per peak, not perk, at its peak. Anything worth doing is difficult, Light Sensei. Yes, that is very true. Please leave some wisdom for your elders. <laughs> the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. So we best start stepping. Young one, you know where the reflex pole is stored? Can you grab it for me? And where is... Were you talking to me? Daniel, pay attention. Even when you think nobody pays attention to you. Apologies, I set up the reflex pole right away. The stone breaker is not something to be used anywhere. But when things go wrong, one needs to be capable of handling the con consequence. So the first discipline you will have to master is reflex. Daniel, give me a number. 22. 22, that is a good number as any. 22 it is. 22 what? Me who thinks too much about every step he takes will always stay on one leg. If, you, if you're if you in the right mindset, try and give me a high five. Training will begin when our hands touch. Mist, come now. I'm just an old man. Clear your mind, focus your mind. Feel, use your senses. senses. Surrender your body to the world around you, and your reflexes will increase a thousandfold. Find a pattern and timing. Clear 22 jumps. Come, try again. Thirty-three. A score of thirty-three. Patience is a bitter plant, but its fruit is often sweetest. You have learned to jump. Now we may teach you how to run. In a sense, in a sense. The next training will improve your dexterity. Meet me in the arcade hall on the top floor of Valalma Training Hub. Trainer Hub. I'll race you there. I guess I have to get there very fast. Eh, eh, eh. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me, enemy cat girl. I got a journey to do. 
This reminds me of that one Paper Mario when you have to get to the radio thing. Trainer hub. How did you get here before? Thank you, I've been expecting you. And thus it is here that my journey ends. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to distract you. No worries, Tinkerbell. It's not your fault. Playing games it is not about the high score, but the journey to reach that point. I know you could achieve a even higher score than I once you set your mind to it. This training will teach you hand-eye coordination and per perseverance. A metaphor for the challenges once one must face when using Stonebreaker. I won't disappoint you, Light Sensei. Disappointment only comes with giving up. Reach a score of 250 that will teach you hands to withstand the power of Stonebreaker. Give it your greatest again and again, Tinkerbell. Uh, a game that I once did very well at. Again. Again. Cool. 92. I can do this. I need to be strong. I need to be smart. We must be together. We must be sinking. Every movement. The faster it gets, the faster we go. may not see me because I am here. Ah, 364. Ah, could have did better. I did it. I beat the high score. Persistence always wins in the end. Yes, and also my eyes. I should be doing this with glasses. <laughs> uh, also, I've trained my eyes very well in the, you know, clicking games. I played that offline T-Rex game before. Persistence always wins in the end. You continue to impress me with your progress, Tinkerberry. Like the tender sapling, you have strong roots hidden beneath. Yes, I'm cool. But your training is not quite over yet. We must return home for a grand for the grand finale. Final. Final. The grand finale. Let's meet in front of the dojo. Wanna race again? Only I had a teleporter, handheld teleporter, to where my one? You can't do this to the cat girl. Off we go, we must hurry. I'm getting too old for this. The dojo master, you know, he may be old, but you know, I feel older than he is. Hope. Stupid encounter. Oh, it's a little baby cow. Oh, very, very cute. Goodbye. Pleasure.
That's one persistent little cow. You run up against a level 58. Oh, you burned me. How could you? Splash it. Throw that cup of water at it. There we go. Mino's dead. Goodbye, Mino. You didn't even give any good XP. Thought it would be funny if I just fought you. Hello there, Catgo. How you doing? How's your pierogi? Just look at that cute... Those cute ears of yours. You'd never have to evolve just for me, Libby. You're absolutely perfect just the way you are. I've heard too many uh, cat jokes from, uh, what to call it, Purgatory, that game. I quite enjoy that game. Eh? If there's a game that I would like to go back and replay, probably Purgatory, I'd probably do the same things that I already did, but yeah. It was a fun game. It's been a year since I played that game. Eh? I'm pretty sure it might have been, yeah, it is a year. I was gonna say two years, but then that isn't right. It's a year. And a little bit now. Okay, we got a little bit of XP from that. Milestone achieved. Might as well claim my milestones. Uh, I was so close. What do you want, little dog? <laughs> You're joking me. How many encounters are there? Did that take out your little baby? I don't care. I'm running. See you, sucker. How many encounters are there? Is this Serbius over here? I didn't know I was in Greek mythology over here. This is the true Greek story. The Greek mythology that they don't want to teach you. <laughs> Cat girls and polar bears of, you know, armor. Ah, uh, another encounter. Okay, but hopefully you are all doing okay to the end of the end of the Pleasure. Goodbye. Ow. Ow. Get out of here. Just because I'm burned does not mean that you can just take advantage of me. Get out of here. Bit of XP. <laughs> not too bad to train my Coromon here, eh? Huh? I'll see. Here's a dojo. Master. Sensei. Is this where we're going to battle? Finally, it seems victory is mine, yet again. Yes, you're quite fast for an old man. So what is your final discipline? It is not knowing, that is difficult, but doing. Here, take this. White paint, a can of white paint and a brush. Paint? What do you, what do I need paint for? It's all in the wrist. Tango bear up and down. Wax on, wax off. Wax on, wax on. Wax on, wax on. Up and down, up and down. Return when the fence around the dojo are completely white. The fence is already painted to perfection. Paint these windows. <laughs> Here we go. I guess these also need painting. Yes, it's already painted to perfection. I know it's two clicks just to get through this. I like the little uh, course we're going around, it's like a little, uh, what do you call it, a little paint, painter, a little bit, I don't know how you would pronounce it, paintbrush. Uh, let's see, let's paint all of this over here. No 
no more there. I feel like, you know, this grand finale is just a bit fake, can uh, This is us just doing his, his chores. Why couldn't he get Daniel to do this, huh? Making the cat girl paint your fence. Already painted to perfection. Okay, there's probably one more up this way. No, but there is a loop. I'll take that instead. Oh, you have impre you have impressive painting skills. All right, now we can go inside for your final discipline, the battle. Wait a minute, wasn't this the final training? Training? Who said it was part of your training? Not I. The fence just needed a new lick of paint, is all. <laughs> uh, now then, give me the paint. Let us retire inside. Fear, fret not. We are nearly there. Tinkerberry, you have shown competence in every, almost everything, every discipline of my dojo. But now, ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho, now. The time has come. You must face me, your master, in Koromon battle. Very well, Light Sensei. My Koromon and I are ready. Oh, one should not jump to conclusions. This is not a regular battle. Users of the Stonebreaker need to make wise decisions. Make them under all circumstances. You shall not be allowed to use any items. And you shall, shall only fight with Cormon you catch with my special spinners, Tinkleberry. One cannot fight with empty spinners, Light Sensei. Certainly not. You must fill them yourself. Use your spinners to catch a new squad of three. You will not get the chance to train them. So strategize wisely based on information you get on my squad. I will use a fire type, ice type, and water type. So I need a ground type. I need a fire type, and I need a shock type. Okay, then I will go and catch free Cormon with these spinners. I'll await your return. Also, I might need another fa paint job on my fence if you don't come back soon enough. Okay, let's go catch the, uh, Coromon. So, we need a fire type. Not that fire type, we need the uh, Voltberg. <laughs> Splash. Agility training. Splash. Berserk. Ow. Don't headmint me. Splash. Come back. Beat up. There we go. That is defeated. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna catch the evolved versions of many of the Coromon that we just faced in the grass down here. If I had to say these Coromon in this area right here. Best choice. Not these ones. The evolved version of this. Glacier. Ow, ow. Stop shocking me like you know, you're a wizard or Oz or something, I don't know. There we go. Gotta take a drink of water. Oh, you're like, uh, waking some potential. There we go. Get in the speed up, I tell ya. Mopat is level 41. Baldi's level 42. Launch spark sparkling disc of electric at the target. Dealing damage and drain and flee. Not too bad, actually. Static fur, that can go. This drains SP, so that's gotta be good. 
<laughs> 9 SP to use, sadly. So it's quite expensive. I think that's just to stop you from spamming it. Here it is, this is what I'm looking for. Huntrund. Huntro. Uh, that's not the one that I'm looking for. One, two, three, four. Huntro was caught. Keep. Perton. That's your name, Perton. There we go. Level 59. Avalanche! Whoa! That's a new snow type move. 65. 65, 110. Uh, I could get rid of B up. B up is not really that good, is it? Uh, keeps a lower type snow move on me. But then B up could be. Plus one extra hit for each fainted core. God, no. I'll keep it on me for now. <laughs> I could always just switch out in the future. Okay. Once again, here's the fire type that we're looking for. <laughs> this is our fire type. Light Sensei Spinner. Two, three. Four. Come back. There's a tire, yes. Keep. Your name will be. Blaze Mama. Blaze Mama. Mom. Blaze Mom. Blaze Mom's your name. <laughs> there we go, we have. I one for ice, now we need the shock. No, we did got the shock. We need one for... Geo. Geo, we need Geo. <laughs> well, not Geo, but yeah. Rock. Down here. No, not what I'm looking for. <laughs> Potent, oh. Static spinner. Yeah. Yeah. Frame. That's your name, Frame. Send core on storage. Milestone achieved. <laughs> okay, we need that geo slug looking thing, right? Rock slug. Where are you? There you are. <laughs> Something for a potent one, but that's a do. There we go. Centilia. Vegetarian. Your name, I know what I will name you. Your name shall be Vigani. Viganan. Vigani. 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 Your name is Vigani. Just, you know, short for, uh, well, longer for a vegan. <laughs> Uh, Vigani. That's a good name, I think. And then people are gonna start calling their children Vigani. Look, there's Vigani, your best friend from uh, elementary school and kindergarten. Nursery. They're all the same thing, but yeah. In case you're from a different country. Pope. Hoping I got there without any trouble. 
<laughs> oh, I forgot Yurka when they level up, they recover. Master! Master! It's time, Master! It's time you face the cat girl power! Master! 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 Sensei! 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 Master! Ah, you have returned! How did you fare in the search? I've decided on free Coromon and I'm ready to take on you on with the squad. And I suppose that it's time to commence the battle. Tinkerberry, take your position. Ah, oh, his voice is very hard today. No tricks. This is a true finals test. Tinkerberry, this culmination of your tra of all your training. If you win, you will have what it takes to master the Stonebreaker technique. Antrium. Ah. Multi belt. <laughs> Insta kill. <laughs> Bit of XP there. Burton's not actually that bad. I might actually have to put Burton on the team and get rid of our tiger if this thing's that good. Level 35 now. Okay, I will switch out for my fire type. My blaze ma, blaze man. Heady torns. Very effective. Illusion burst. Defense decreased. Heady torns. Three times, please. Illusion boss. Come back. It's activated. And just heaty tones again. That was pretty good. Taking out the ice type. The water type. And now for their fire type. Ah, uh, yes. That's why I caught Vegan. Vegani. Eh, uh, Mudball. You know, it is actually quite nice because, you know, you would never really get to see these Coromon in battle. You know, you using them. It's getting hot in here. <laughs> uh, just imagine the uh, Here Comes the Sun. You know that song. Here comes the sun, literally. Seismic wave. Magnitude 8. Lava boulder. Oh. The only Coromon to ever be defeated. Burton, out you come. Uh, multi bolt. There we go, that's pretty good. Bird is level 36 now. It's a buff looking dog. You're defeated, Light Sensei. The student becomes the master. I like how they're going with a Japanese style with the bonsai tree and you know, Sensei stuff. It's actually quite nice, you know, touch to like a new area. Impressive, extremely impressive. I have been bested, fair and square. There you go. Thank you, Perry. You are the first to master all the Stonebreaker disciplines so quickly, too. You are an example to my students. With the right mindset, anything is possible. Welcome all to the Tankerberry, Tankerberry Stonebreaking Ceremony. Tankerberry, please step forward. I lost my cat ears, no. You came to the dojo as a tender green sapling with a sturdy foundation, but you leave here as a solid tree with a mighty with mighty branches. You mastered every discipline and have shown yourself worthy as my successor. 
as my new wielder of the Stonebreaker. I'm honored, Light Sensei. Awesome, well done. You deserve it. My dear Daniel, can you grab the Stonebreaker from the safe? What the Stonebreaker technique is in a safe? Yes, after a certain age, one can no longer rely on their body, and instead we find assistance in technology. Sorry, if I realized that sooner, I might have still kept in touch with Pili. Anyway, what are you waiting for, Tank Fairy? Install the module. Tremor. The Tremor is a great and powerful. It requires a capable wielder who can channel its force towards certain objects. That is what you have mastered, Tankberry, perhaps even without y your knowing. In your hands, it is safe to use. Why don't you try it out? Give the students a little show. Behold, students, Tankberry has mastered the disciplines of light dojo and can now wield the stone breaker with ease does that reignite a fire in you students perhaps it makes you wish to be stronger so you best get back to trading thank you for attending ah very hard on the voice now you had i'm just gonna do my normal way now you had to better get going now you had better get going my fully grown bonsai tree. Bonsai. That boulder won't destroy itself. Thank you, master. Good have to put on the cat ears again. Pur purgy ears. Yes. Perfect. I do enjoy my beanie, but I do enjoy some cat ears. I wish you could combine hats. That would be cool if you could combine hats. I do wish there was a second game, even though this game did not come out too long ago. Eh. But you know what? If there will ever be a second game of this, I will look very forward to it. I do hear people dis dissing this game, you know, not very good or, you know, saying some stuff about it. But, you know, you got to appreciate the game. Eh? You don't really get top down, you know, pixelated, you know, combat games like you know you used to eh uh, let's see like I enjoy games like this eh because you know it brings back memories of playing older Pokemon games eh uh, let's see Coromon are all fully regenerated okay I want to deposit Coromon I am tempted to deposit Bolte and replace it with the other one. Do I get rid of Balti? For... Wait. Do we not keep the... We don't keep... Oh. That makes me so sad. Good draw, Balti. Well, welcome back to the team. Ah, oh, I was looking forward to getting uh, one of the new Coromon on my team. Oh, who cares? I can catch them normally if I wanted to. Okay. Well, I am actually going to go and break the boulder. Leo, it's time for a break. You want me to stop hacking, Tinkleberry? This here mine needs to be up and running again as soon as possible. Trust me, leave this to me. What do you mean? If I clear my mind, center my focus, and then... I'm cool. That was the Stonebreaker. How? Why, huh? The bowler. It's like it wasn't even there. That was the unmistakable sound of the stone breaker. I knew it. But where did Light Sensei hide? Is he inside the mine? It was heckin' Tankerberry over here. Tankerberry destroyed that boulder in a snap with a zap. 
Come on, everyone. Let's head inside. We have a lot of work to catch up on. I could thank you, but that wouldn't be doing you justice, Tinkerberry. So, Light Sensei, he really decided to pass on the Stonebreaker. Even if things weren't always great between he and I, I'm glad he found peace with a worthy successor. With all the great things Luxolus is doing, he's too must he too must see that we should keep up with the technology. If Light Sensei embraces technology, he should be fine with me upgrading the devices around here to the newest models. Finally, no more noise complaints. <laughs> uh, okay, we're gonna save here and end off here. So hopefully you've enjoyed today's episode of Coromon. Have a nice day, stay safe, up to the apple, maybe even tomorrow's just need to keep us with vitamins. Very, very important. And bye, bye, see you next time. Have a nice day, see you, bye bye.